In this tutorial, you will learn how to implement the Lucky Box mechanic, which allows players to get a random reward in exchange for some gold. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And if you want to access the code of this tutorial or any other verse tutorial that we have or looking for help, you can check our Patreon in the description. Now, let's get to the video. Hi, today we'll implement a device called the Lucky Box which is a fairly known mechanic used in different types of PvE games and, and sometimes also in PvP games. For this device, we need a conditional button to interact with it, a creative prop, which will be our lucky box prop, and an item granter to randomly grant items to the players. We also need a um, user agent variable to keep track which player is currently using the lucky box. So let's define those. Alright, now we need to use the conditional button's actuated event for rolling the lucky box. We first disable the button, since we don't want players using it um, until the box is fully rolled, and we set the user agent. So now we need to, we need to define the movements of a roll, for which we'll use random, randomized animation frames.
With this animation, what we do is basically rotating, or you could say rolling the lucky box prop in place. So we don't uh, move it and we don't change its scale, we just randomly rotate it. First, we generate a couple of random rotation frames. Um, then with the last frame, we add a default rotation keyframe, which we go back to the initial rotation. So with the interpolations, um, with the first frame, we ease in. So we start slow and then we get faster. Uh, with the middle frames, we go linear. So uh, it stays the same speed. With the last frame, we, we, we do ease out. So we start fast and then we go slow. Um, okay, now we need to grant a random item and enable the conditional button back. So we need to do this when the animation ends. Um, for that, we'll use the, uh, use the animation completed event. All right, code is all done. Let's set up our devices. So I have my Lucky Box assets here. I have a mesh texture and a material, and I have created a blueprint class, a building prop class from this mesh. And I'll uh, simply place this condition, uh, place this asset over the conditional button device.
Um, additionally to the required devices, I have also set up a item spawner to give me gold for testing purposes. Now, let's roll the box. Now, if I come to the box, I mean, it's obviously I can't roll it because I don't have enough gold. So, I'll just get from here. And when I roll it, after the roll finishes, you can see that I get a random weapon. And I can't um, interact with the button again while it's rolling because the button is disabled. So, and I align the button and the prop properly so that, um, you know, they have, it's visually nice. Um, so, as you can see, a lucky box is a fun mechanic that you can use in various type of types of games. You can also change the behavior of the role by easily um, tweaking the animation frames. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share if you enjoyed and also leave a comment on what story you would want to see next. See you later.